What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old Dog, Anti Imperial, The Chill here. One name, three personalities. Old Dog, Anti Imperial, The Chill. It's all good. This is Diversity Outspoken. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything, and we are outspoken about those topics, right? So it means that we talk about anything at, at all times, in, in all ways, shapes, forms, and fashions. Um, this is the thing, you guys. Somebody reached out to me, and they asked me, why do people fall in love and out of love? Like, how can you be in love and fall out of love if it's really love? This is kind of how I would explain that. You know, it's there's a longer explanation I could give, but, you know, we're going to try to keep this short. This is kind of how I would explain that. Why do people fall in love and out of love? People can fall in love and out of love if you look at love like this. So when you're in love, so being in love, think about it like this. Being in love is when you accept, not accept, but accept, A-C-C-E-P-T, right? When you accept the bad qualities of the other person, when you accept the negative qualities of the other person, that's how you know you're in love. What does that mean? For example, <laughs> for example, anti-imperial, for example, it's like this. If I'm with the female and she, I catch her talking to another guy, I dump her right away. I leave right away. I dump her right away. I don't look back. I don't talk to her anymore because I'm not in love with her. So I don't accept her negative qualities. I don't accept her bad qualities. I'm not going to accept those things because I'm not in love with her. But then she might have some guy who she can cheat on him. She can talk to other guys that he doesn't want her talking to and things like that. He'll stay with her. She can cheat on him and he'll stay with her and work it out. Because he accepts that bad part of her. He's quote unquote in love with her. He accepts it. She can treat him bad and he'll stay with her. He accepts her that way. When you accept somebody's bad qualities, when you accept somebody's negative qualities, you're kind of in love with them. So being in love is when you accept the person's bad qualities that other people wouldn't accept. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. You know, that's a question for you to answer. Because you can look at it like, well, it's a bad thing right because maybe what i'm allowing this person to get away with is not normal because if you're willing to if a girl cheats on me maybe the normal reaction to be normal you leave that girl i should leave her that's the normal reaction and maybe the normal reaction is the right reaction. Maybe that's why it's the normal reaction. But if a girl cheats on me and I stay with her, that's not normal. So it's probably not the right reaction. It's kind of like this. If I go out and rob a bank, Most people would say, damn, that's messed up, old dog. Why you went out and robbed a bank? You shouldn't do that. That's a bad thing to do. You shouldn't rob a, rob a bank. That's the normal reaction. But if there's somebody, I go out and rob a bank, and there's somebody like, hey, that's wonderful. You robbed the bank? That's great. That person is accepting my bad quality. That's not normal. It wouldn't be normal for somebody to say, Rob robbing banks are, is good. 
That's not normal. But if somebody, if I went out and robbed a bank and somebody told me, hey, that's a great thing you did, buddy. That's wonderful. You went out and robbed a bank. That person is accepting my bad quality. So being in love means accepting the person's bad qualities that other people wouldn't accept. As I stated before, I could be with a female and if she cheats on me, I leave her right away. I dump her right away because I'm not in love with her. I'm not going to accept her bad qualities. That's normal. But some other guy might be with her and she cheats on him and he'll stay with her. He accepts those bad qualities. He accepts that she cheated on him in the past because he says he's in love with her. So being in love, in my opinion, is probably stupid as hell. Because you're not doing the normal thing. You're accepting things from that person. You're accepting that person's bad qualities that's not normal in society. Like if somebody accepted that you robbed banks. That's a bad thing. That's not normal to think that's a good thing. It's not normal to, to stay around somebody that robs banks. That's not a good thing. So... The reason why people are in love and fall out of love is because when they're in love, they accept. To be in love means you accept the other person's bad qualities that the normal person would not accept. Right? You can even take this to like family. Your mom. If you do something bad, your mom will not disown you, right? If you do something bad, your mom, you could be terrible. We see this all the time when like guys get killed, especially like in the hood over there in the US, right? Guys might get killed, might get murdered, and the mom's at the funeral crying. He was such a good boy. He was such a good boy. Oh my God, I can't believe they killed my boy. He was such a good boy. Your boy was a fucking drug dealer. He wasn't a good boy. But the mother loves the son, loves. Therefore, under my definition, the mother is willing to accept the bad quality that her son was a drug dealer. See how that works? Because she loves her son. So she accepts the bad quality that her son was a drug dealer. But normal people, the police, society, normal people, they don't accept that from her son. Normal people say, okay, well, if he got killed, he was a drug dealer. Normal people say, well, throw him in jail. Because normal people aren't in love with her son. Normal people don't love her son. They don't know him. So that's the normal reaction. That's the right reaction. That's the good reaction. To not accept things. To be in love. To love something so much. Means you accept the bad qualities about them. That a normal person would not accept. I'm going to copyright this. I just made a whole definition. <laughs> I'm going to copyright this. I'm going to write a book about this. Don't steal my, my idea, my definition of love. All right, you guys. Take care. Have a great day, a great night. I was looking over, sorry, I was looking over at my pins. I have like a whole bunch of pins over here. I got work I got to do. I was like looking, I was like, man, I got all these pins over here. And I have the papers over here. I was, some diverse, I have some stuff I have to do. 
But anyway, um, old diversity outspoken stuff, and I have some new ideas for diversity outspoken. I have to post. So I was looking at all my pins. Like I got a lot of work I gotta do. Anyway, you guys take care and have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. Old dog, Anton period to chill. Love you guys. All right, love you guys. Love the definition of love to accept someone's bad qualities that a normal person would not accept. Okay. And when you start falling out of love with that person, that means you start not accepting those bad qualities anymore. When you fall out of love with that person, that means when they cheat on you, you're like, I'm done, I'm gone. Because you're falling out of love. You're becoming a normal person now to them. You're not accepting their bad qualities anymore. Okay? Although anti period of chill, have a great day, a great night. Depending on where you are in the world, you guys take care. Love you guys, all right? Hey, check out my video right there. Check out my video right there. All right, take care, you guys. Love you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.